Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and I've been working on my 2013 Tesla Model S battery pack. As you can see behind me, I've got uh, all the modules out of the battery. And the reason why is on the end of each of these, there's a circuit board, which essentially uh, it reads the six sections of the battery module for voltage. And then there's also two temperature sensors in there as well. But the trouble is that this one was faulty, it got corroded, a uh, capacitor in there um, bit the dust and it threw an error and that made the entire car stop working. Uh, I tried fixing that, uh, this board right here had some issues with it. Now they don't make these boards anymore so it's not like I'm gonna throw this out or anything. And in fact, I'm making this video um, not long after uh, editing, posting the previous one, I know a ton of people are going to start throwing soldering tricks at me and everything. I'm not that good with electronics, but I'll hang on to this, and I do have spare capacitors, so uh, maybe I can take this to a friend or something, keep working on it to fix it up. But like I said, since just one of the boards caused the entire car to shut down, I thought I'd be a lot better off just getting a new board. I talked about that in the last video, and just as I posted that video, this showed up in the mail. So this is a replacement board. Essentially, it's new old stock. Uh, they don't make these anymore. Now, I did also see that this one here was Rev 3, whereas the other one was an original Rev 1. Same part number, though. So they should be completely interchangeable. If I can open the anti-static bag... And this is going on the end of the battery module, right about here. So let's come in close for that. Okay, so I've got my replacement board. It goes on the end here right about, right about there. On the back, we've got this connector for our voltage connections. Then up here is for the thermal connections. And there's not really a good spot to put the camera to show plugging this in because uh, the wires are kind of short and they're on the back and they're short on purpose to stay out of the way. Of course, it's always awkward plugging things in because I can do it until I'm on camera and then I can't do it. Okay, there's the temperature sensor, there's the voltage sensor, voltage at the bottom, temperature at the top, and then this uh, black connector here. This is actually where uh, the connection goes to the rest of the car. So right now the module is up on edge, and where this black connector is, that is up when the module is in the car. So now I'm going to try to stick this in place. Um, this uses these little plastic pegs, which are, uh, I guess they're fine. Um, it's, they're kind of like the pegs that are used to hold uh, auto body parts in place, plastic covers and things. And they just go in these holes that are in the plastic of the battery here. And then there are these little pins that uh, keep the inside of that pushed open so they can't come back out. Again, similar to some auto body fasteners. So now the next big question is, this is a used part. How do I even know that works? I don't want to put this all together back into the car and go, oh no, that board was also bad. Fortunately, I have the Tesla battery module monitor, and this allows me to test individual sections of the battery. 
I did do a video interview with the creator of this device, so if you have any questions on it, make sure to watch that video. So all I have to do is connect this plug up to where uh, this board would connect to the car. Give it a second to let it connect. And sure enough, I get the green thumbs up. It's communicating properly. Uh, it tells me what the voltages are, what the temperatures are. And we're four millivolts difference between the highest and lowest voltages of the six sections of the battery here. So we're good. So I am definitely feeling a lot better about the project now that I got my one bad board uh, replaced with a new one, which actually works. Uh, all the other boards that I pulled out of here, I did put a, a extra layer of conformal on them, on the points that are known to um, get some physical rubbing on there from that plastic case when the... Uh, those extra tabs were not trimmed off of there. So I'm still gonna do that to this board as well before I actually call this one done. But then all the other modules, I can start putting the boards back on them. Uh, I can't put them back into uh, the shell of the battery yet because I still have some more work to do on there. I got some more uh, scraping off old caulk and some different things like that. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm, I'm feeling a lot better than I was the other day on this project. So I'll just uh, keep chugging along on it and giving you updates as you go. I like working on this kind of stuff because I learn so much while I'm doing it. Frankly, making the videos takes a lot more time, slows the whole thing down, but I really like being able to learn new things and then share it with, uh, with other people. So I hope you like that. If so, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends about this YouTube channel. Um, I've got a zillion old videos on here too. I think I've was on YouTube since 2007. So if you wanna know how to take a Geo Metro and convert it to electric with a forklift motor uh, going on 20 years ago, that's on this YouTube channel. So make sure to check out some of those old videos. I'm sure you'll uh, get a kick out of them if nothing else. And until next time, Stay charged up.